the choice of a nation is great as it does in the land of freedom of all the states and local people. The thousands of former presidential campaign in the next time to turn all the U.S. and have their eyes on this. This is an inside podcast. Check your communism rule with. Welcome back to the Checking Communism Show. I, um, thought I might read you, uh, an article, uh, from one of the Douglas Hofstadter. Uh, but then I realized that I had no interest in, uh, in subjecting you to, uh, that tedious material. Uh, but I did want to talk about uh, this person because they're, 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 they're uh, kind of uh, rolling out the old heads of the tech and, uh, people like this and trying to, um, uh, trying to see what kind of, what precise uh, kind of, um, um, uh, populist, uh, kill switch, um, or, um, popular groundswell kill switch uh, might work uh, trying to stop uh, uh, stop um, AI as a as a human centric phenomena and um, um, I mean, and, and so I uh, listened to Douglas Hofstadter uh, 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 talking about his book and um, which is regarded as a important important philosophical work <laughs> by by, by uh, people who are um, anyway. Um, uh, but but the, his main point about AI was that um, um, you know not that not that the planet's dying and that um, and the super intelligence um, used by uh, people uh, and the only people that are going to uh, use that appropriately are people who are committed to a humane and sustainable economic system, communists, the most knowledgeable and well-intentioned people. Everyone else will say that they are knowledgeable and well-intentioned, uh, but they will fail uh, to do the right thing uh, when the rubber meets the road. Uh, but Douglas Hofstadter is not concerned about. Um, um, super intelligence um, um, being uh, used for good or real, really. He's certainly not focusing on um, uh, the real existential risks of our age. Um, he's sad a man will not be um, uh, uh, the highest uh, the highest decision maker in this. And when somebody says man will not be the highest decision maker in this, what he means is myself, the landed gentry, I will no longer have uh, more or less total control over world affairs. Landed gentry meaning the white man is lamenting. Is in, in this roundabout way lamenting uh, the white male not uh, being able to dominate um, uh, and bully. Because that's what the fascist West does. Um, the, uh, the United States has been responsible for 40 million murders. Um, you add them up, all of those people, one of the worst ones, well, in recent years, Iraq, there was no pretext uh, there. You know, it was just a lie. One of the worst ones in decades prior. And that's uh, about a million and a half people. Um, the number of people that were killed in Southeast Asia alone. Uh, by by U.S. violence in, in the 20th century is almost a lion's share of that 40 million. A huge number of people killed in Korea. Millions of people killed in Korea. Millions of people killed in Vietnam. Millions of people killed in Laos and others in, 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 in Southeast Asia. And um, um, there was a pretext there, uh, the flimsiest of pretexts. It wasn't just a lie. Well, yeah, it was a lie, but um, uh, there was, the, they could still get away with uh, just saying that this is not killing all these people, it's democracy. Protecting private wealth and the ruling elites, um, and uh, the right, quote, right of um, Western powers to extract resources and enslave people in those places. Um, um, that's democracy, and that's a reason to kill millions of people. Um, and this is one of the silliest things because some um, um, socialist countries run very democratically. You can you can read entire books of, of on uh, uh, democratic centralism and um, uh, uh, and be abundantly clear that uh, th- this is a democracy in the truest sense than any uh, uh, Western countries have. And um, um, so, this, you know, this, I remember uh, seeing coming through this book, uh, Earl Escher Bach, um, and um, everybody knew they had this display. There's two things you can maybe tell about somebody when this is that they're a capitalist, a capitalist class and maybe a more right leaning. Um, uh, you know, it be like, you know, in 1980, having this book on your, on your bookshelf is, you know, the country was less far right then, so it would be like about the same signal as having uh, zero to one, Peter Thiel's book on your bookshelf today. But if you had that book, Jesus Christ, then I can say. Um, and, you know, and the other thing you can tell about the person who has this book is that they're um, a little more interested in things like math and uh, computer science and theoretical physics than the average person. <laughs> um, um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, so it's, it, it saw this guy doing a bunch of shows, getting millions of views, getting having a bunch of articles done, written about that in uh, mainstream papers about his, his views on AI, basically. Rolling Roll this guy on the count um, and talking about, uh, um, you know, what is he, what is he really talking about? Uh, the, the death of Western civilization. It's ridiculous.